Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the production process of the cement. The cement is the second most consumed material in the world. The first mostly consumed material used in the world is the water. And then the second one is the cement. So we should know that how these companies manufacture the cement. And also for the civil engineering students, it's really important to know about the production process of the cement. Is it mostly used in the concrete, the most constituent of the uh, concrete is the cement. And also uh, every type of reinforced concrete structures have concrete. So in the concrete, we use the cement as a binding material. So we should know that how these companies produce the cement. I will explain the process, production process of the cement in a very simple way. The basic two materials used for the production of the cement is the clay. First one is the clay and the second one is the limestone. Limestone means it is CaCO3 which is known as the calcium carbonate. And the clay is the chemical composition of the uh, different or com or chemical composition like the uh, aluminium oxide, Al2O3, silica oxide. These are mostly used. These are mostly found in the clay, and like iron oxide, and etc. etc. But these three oxides are mostly found in the clay. So this is the clay. One is the clay material, and one is the limestone. These both uh, contribute to the production of the cement. Now, how the companies produce this? cement the clay is been taken the clay is been taken in one side i can draw it like here the clay is been taken by the company and also the limestone on the other side and then they mix these two material and they heat it at 1450 centigrade in the, in the kiln they heat this material and they mix and they combine them well with one another, each particle being combined with one another. So after combining these two materials at this temperature in the kiln, they are being passed further and they form clinker here. Clinker, which is very important. And the clinker is actually the small grey types of balls. The clinker are the small grey types of balls, which is the combination of these two materials which is the clay limestone when heated at, at this temperature in the kiln we found out the clinker and the clinker has been passed and then again they are cooled down they are cooled down here and they provide the cool down temperature here and they've been cooled down after the clinker has been cooled down we add the gypsum the gypsum amount has been added to this clinker and usually the cement has 95% of the clinker and the 5% of the cement. So the total composition is 100% of the cement. The 95% is clinker and 5% is gypsum. But why we add gypsum to this clinker here? We add gypsum because we want to increase the initial sitting time of the cement and want to reduce the hydration reaction. Actually when we add the water to the cement, the hydration reaction is very fast and we get the uh, sitting, sitting time of the cement very quickly. We cannot make the concrete more workable at the initial start time. So what we do, we add the gypsum to increase the initial sitting time and to reduce the hydration process. So that's why we add the gypsum. After adding this gypsum to the clinker, it has been grounded. The next step is the grounded. Grounded means they, ha they are being grinding by the machines into the very small particles and after this grounding grinding we get the cement so this is the very simple way that how the companies manufacture the cement in the industries the two material are the clay limestone they've been mixed together in the kiln at 1450 centigrade after this the clinker has been made which is the small clay gray balls like and it has been cooled down after this clinker cooled down and then they add gypsum and then they have been grinded by the machines into really small particles and which we get the cement here so this is the process production process of the cement 
Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.